Hey, I'm Josh Reimer, and Donald Trump is one of the most polarizing presidents the United States has ever had. But will he go down as one of the worst? Because he's got some competition. Check out this list of 10 former presidents who've been rated the worst ever. George W. often said things that made people question his intelligence, and there were those little wars with Iraq and Afghanistan that many people later decided were unnecessary. But at least Americans learn from that mistake, right? Richard Nixon was a pretty good politician until he screwed up so bad with the Watergate scandal that he actually had to resign. He is the only president who's ever had to do that. So far. That's important to add, because that might change. After the Roaring Twenties, Herbert Hoover became president, and he's remembered as a poor communicator who fueled trade wars and exacerbated the Great Depression, helping times go from great to terrible. There's a legacy for ya. In 1861, Ulysses S. Grant was barely making a living as a clerk, and then in 1868, he was the president. Unfortunately, there was basically an outbreak of federal corruption among his administration, and people don't tend to like that much. So you know how people fondly think of Abraham Lincoln? Well, on the other end of the spectrum is the president from just a few years before him, John Tyler. He defended slavery and abandoned his party's platform once he became president. Why you gotta be like that? Or a little after that was Millard Fillmore, who backed the Compromise of 1850, which only delayed the Southern succession and allowed slavery to spread. He's one of many presidents who claimed to be against slavery, but did little to stop it. Not a good look for you, Millard. And following Fillmore was this guy, Franklin Pierce. He was so against ending slavery that he put through measures which basically set the stage for the American Civil War. Maybe this is the era Trump is referring to when he says make America great again. Luckily, Lincoln came along to not make the late 1800s the only unliked presidents, but he's followed up by Andrew Johnson, who was the first one to face impeachment and didn't want to give any rights to the now liberated slaves. Dude. Coming back to the 20th century, we have Warren G. Harding, who is basically remembered for being ineffective, indecisive, and someone who really liked to play poker while his friends plundered the US Treasury. Weird that he's not remembered fondly. And finally, James Buchanan. He didn't stop the spread of slavery or the growing bloc of states that became the Confederacy because he didn't feel it was really his place to step in on either one. Apparently being a bystander as president doesn't make you very popular. Who knew? Thank you for watching, and thanks to my sponsor, Hornet. It's a gay app that you can use on your smartphone or tablet. Um, you can access it through the website on your computer. Just go to joshreimer.com slash hornet to check it out and meet great guys near you. And I'll be back soon with another sassy scoop. Bye.